Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. Yeah. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. What? The midwife told my mother I was dead. All right, so again, this is twin uh, or crazy? I wasn't. Yeah. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Okay, diary. diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. So we have... Uh, ah! Don't do that! Was that hood? That was her. No, it wasn't. It was too. It looked like a little kid. It was her. Uh, it can you totally again? wasn't. It was totally her. I think it was her. Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, amazing what people will admit to on paper. Oh. No. Okay, so we have diary, crazy, and mental. Which one do we want to go with? Diary. Also, we have Eve. Eve. And Florence. Five entries. Five entries. All right, we're getting good at this. <laughs> no, he doesn't keep diary. That's my thing. Oh dear. I've kept one, well, as long as I can remember. She's it trans? Girl. <laughs> Helps make sense of my day. What? Yeah. She what? Just put something into words. She can remember it since she was a girl. She looks kind of feminine still. Everyone's on the same what? page. Uh, let's just ignore him. <laughs> okay. This is being accused. A minute 24. Evil Florence lady. was a warm, kind person. But she was broken, I guess. Okay. When I found her diary, I also found a biscuit tin with other stuff in it. Older papers, letters, that kind of thing. Her story was in there. Oh, that's the title of the thing. That's the title. I never really spoke to her about it. I was far too young to really understand. I guess I just put it together later, once I was older. She had loved children, planned to have a large family, but her husband died in the war. Yay! And that was back when you married for life. She never felt like she could marry again. Isn't that strange? She was a widow from her twenties. But I mean, like you. I guess it was different then. You know, you're married for life, and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I'm, I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. 1134. Mm. Um. When I was eight, Mother died. She slipped down the stairs. Accidentally. It was an accident. Uh-huh. <laughs> I had read a diary at that point, and I knew she wasn't my real mother. Mm. So I burned the diary accident. that day, and I left. Walked out and across the street. Huh. Stop that's, it. That's her. Yeah, that kind of looked like her. So wait, are we gonna chase her craziness or Simon? I think that we're yes. maybe we're her <laughs> trying to discover why we're crazy or that we're crazy. Maybe why would we have access if we were her to a police database? Just wait. became our way of life. We would swap places and take it in turns to do things. Yep. And we were very careful. Mm. Whoever had been out that day would come back and write a Wins. detailed diary so that we were on the same page. We had a list of rules or that said what we could crazy. and couldn't do in any given situation. It was exhaustive. We lived a second life through those rules. Rules for things that could only ever happen inside our imaginations. I'm gonna type we would consider all the permutations of future events and agree rules to walk our way through them. Save that. Ooh. Ah. That's creepy. End of session, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. Nice 
don't like a keyboard. Right. T. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, it's really old school. <laughs> what? Whoa. You saw that. Yeah. What do you see? I didn't see it. Try this again. Uh, okay, nothing else. Try, try to win. Mental? This would be crazy. Nothing? Try dissociative. Uh, S S S S O C I T O C I T uh I A V I A V E. Are you sure it's not this A associated with A? Yes. Sure. Okay. How about crazy? Cause that's what you is, lady. <laughs> Eight seconds. I'm not I mean, what crazy. if they were crazy? You hear about these crazy people all the time. I mean, why would anyone who knew Simon want to kill him? Hmm. Back to Simon. Well, Simon's important. Her story is that she'd waited for him to come back. She put on my wig, some of my clothes. Uh -huh. Pretended to be me. They talked. She'd enjoyed being me. He said he wanted to be with me. Then he took out a present. Another mirror. Uh, Just like the one he'd given her earlier. Type <laughs> that yeah. unique present. She went crazy, smashed the mirror. They argued, screamed. He hit her. So That's she grabbed a piece of the mirror and just swung it round. She cut his throat clean open. Yep. What, poison? She'd only meant to scare him off. Well, that's an edit session. Okay, it does continue on good. I love an trees. Music changed again. I mean, it wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror, a nice mirror. He'd engraved the glass, the kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. He made it specially for me. Hmm. I noticed something, but I'm not going to tell you. Why? We're playing this together. <laughs> it's so obvious. It wasn't the present so much. It was one of those arguments that had been simmering for a while. The present was a mirror, a nice mirror. He'd engraved the glass, the kind of mirror a princess would have in a story. He made it specially for me. You notice anything, Nick? Oh, real Nick. Yeah. Um, nothing that obvious. Um. Just that now she's like, she he made it especially for me. You mentioned just like a There's, princess in a story. It wasn't anything she said. The two cups? One more time. I mean, it wasn't the present so much. You it was one of those arguments that had been huh? simmering for a while. Don't worry, just go on to the next one. It's a in there nice too. mirror. Oh, no, it's not. It's in the third the one. Mirror. I can't remember. I put it somewhere safe. Upstairs, I think. I haven't looked at it since. So, something I just noticed. This happened on the 6th month on the 27th. This one, 6th month, 18th. Okay. is going chronologically, okay. Silverleaf? No. And he normally solves them properly. This mirror, it's supposed to look antique. The reflection isn't as good. It's the perfect mirror for someone who doesn't like to look at their own reflection. Huh. That's interesting. That was fake happy. Yeah. 
Let's find out more about this Florence lady. Uh, before you do that, Eve. I'll remember Eve. <laughs> Seven entries, of course, and one's one of the best. Well, my friend Eve. I mean, she was a friend from when I was a kid. And she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. Me. Really hate her sometimes. Okay. Yes. We'd fight. We fought on the beach once and I held Eve's head underwater. Oh Those god. Around. With poison? We far the beach I held her head under and I kept it out. And for a moment I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. That's wife material. And but I think that it. just rises up, moment. wraps up our psych eval. <laughs> made up after. It was a love-hate relationship. Huh. A police station. Yeah. When I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his tour bus and have him take us with him. The taxi driver we paid to drop us off. I mean, we'd saved money, pinched a bit here and there to pay for the fare. He was suspicious because we were so young, so he told the police. What a get. So they came and picked us up <laughs> and took me back to Portsmouth. My mum picked me up from the station. But I blamed everything on my friend Eve. So my parents let me off. You bitch. My mother called me Eve. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh. I guess bitch crazy. Um. All right. So her name is supposed to be Hannah, and we weren't supposed Hannah, to. Another and her name is also Eve with another Eve. It's split personality, it's gotta be. Um... Confess. <laughs> <I> confess. <laughs> well, that's the end of the game, everybody!